Hi everyone, welcome to WW Designs. My name is Nikki, and on this channel I share my love of all things paper crafting. In front of you is my travel bag for a cruise that I am heading off on. Now, thankfully we are going ex-Brisbane, so I don't have to worry about going on a plane, but I did want to keep everything in one place. So, I mean, obviously it, I could take a lot more because there are no baggage restrictions. And if I just want to sit and do some journaling on our balcony while watching the ocean go by, I could take whatever I wanted. But I also want to be able to go up on one of the decks, find a nice little bar or a little sunny spot and do some journaling. So I decided everything had to fit in one bag so that I can easily do that. So this particular bag that I'm using is a canvas tote that I bought off Timu. It was an absolute bargain. I have some badges on here. This is our Southeast Queensland official journal keepers badge. I have a cute little gin bottle that I got from um, Typo, but a long time ago. I've got a cute little drink cup a coffee one, and a colour wheel. These were from Timu, I think. And as I said, everything has to fit in one bag so that I can take it wherever I want. So I'm going to shimmy this bag over here and I will tell you what I've got in here. So obviously the very first thing I've got is my journal. Now, I know a lot of people when they go on holidays, they make special journals to write down their memories in. And I did exactly that when I went to Bali last year. But I sort of found, because my journal is not just like a diary, it, it's a creative journal, I ended up just using page after page and put it all in my main journal. So that way, if I'm flipping through the year, then my holiday is also included. So I've decided to do exactly the same thing. I am using a Wonderland 222 B6 notebook, they call this. There is a page a day. I don't use a page every day. I tend to use two pages, maybe three, sometimes four over a whole week. So I have plenty of pages to spare. Now this cover I made myself. I got some of this, it's like outdoor canvassy stuff. I don't even know where I got it from. And I made this ages ago. I just threw down some acrylic paint, but it's perfect for what I want. I also made myself this sort of pen board. Um, again, doing some paint on a piece of cardstock. And in case I want to get mixed media or painty, I can then protect the pages underneath. And this just so happens to have a cute little seahorse in there on the pocket. So that seems appropriate for cruising. And if you know me and have been following me for any length of time, the ocean is my happy place. My alter ego is definitely a mermaid. So going on a cruise to me is just like one of the ultimate holidays that you can have. So the journal is ready to roll. The next thing I have here is a simple plastic pocket and inside I have a selection of bits and pieces. These are old post-it notes. I've had them forever. They're from, they were from the Planner Society and I thought they might like look cute. I had a thought of maybe if I try a cocktail I really like, I might list the ingredients on that cocktail so I can replicate it at home. So they're coming along. In the first little snap lock bag, this is just to protect everything. I'm, I'm going where there's a lot of water. So, you know, we're sort of trying to keep things safe here. I have a selection of washi tape samples. I have lots that are sort of ocean slash holiday theme. When I went through my stash, I realized I had plenty. So these don't take up a lot of space. So that's the first little snap lock bag. All sorts of little pretty washy bits. The next one is just a selection of die cuts. I have lots of tropical, beachy, 
die cuts because it's a theme I really enjoy playing with. So again, I just went through my stash and collected not too many. Um, I like to collect things as I'm traveling, but they tend to be more practical things, not so much pretty. So I thought we better take a few die cuts. Then I went through my planner sticker stash and I found all sorts of things that relate to water slash beach holidays, lots of planner stickers, cocktail ones. Now, just before COVID hit, we there was a group of us of planner girls from Brisbane. We went and did a cruise up to Airlie Beach and back from Brisbane. And one of the ladies on board, Izzy, made this stunning kit for us. Uh, now, I have used quite a bit of this. There was pages and pages of this, but I have a few left and they will be absolutely perfect. I've got some sea creatures, mermaids. I've already used quite a bit of this, but there's still plenty here that I haven't used. This is from another kit I got from somewhere. I thought just in case I want some little highlight bits. I have these cute summery ones. They look very beachy. And the one other thing I've packed in here, this is a wave stencil that I bought recently off Timu. Obviously, we're going on a cruise. There will be time on the ocean, and I thought this would make a perfect backdrop, and I didn't have such a thing. So now I do. Now, let me just... I won't pack all that away properly. I'll do that later, because that will take too long. Then the next thing I'm taking is a watercolour pad. I don't know... I've got a couple of ideas of what I can do if I do have some spare time. I can also do some experimenting watercolours and then cut them out if I want to actually use them in my journal. But otherwise, I just um, have some watercolour paper that I can play with. So that's a good size. So that's coming with me. Then I will take this paper pack. This is one I got a little while ago from Kmart. It's beachy nautical theme and I thought that might be perfect to tear up and use in my journal so I thought oh I'll sneak that one in that's ideal then I have in one of the side pockets is the extent of my watercoloring arrangements I decided I'm just going to take this cute little Jane Davenport palette that I have had forever it's the bright palette and I thought this was perfect for a tropical style holiday. And the other thing I've packed, because <clears throat> this kit does not have a white in it, and these colours are bright. I'll just show you the little swatch sheet. So they're pretty bright. I've just managed to sneak in there this little tube that I found of white watercolour paint. So if I want to tone anything down and maybe, you know, go a little bit pastel I've got the white with me to do that. Then I have this gorgeous little flower watercolour palette that I bought off. Hmm, that's a good question. I've had it for ages. I can't remember. I bought it before we went to Bali. So I have obviously palette space here, palette space there, but then also I can use this. So I thought I'll throw that in. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I'm taking one large brush if I just want to wash some water around. I also have a watercolour brush pen. I'm taking a relatively smallish round brush and a tiny little brush. And I think that will do it. I'm not sure how much watercolouring I will get to do, but let's wait and see. Push that aside as I grab out the next thing. Love this pencil case. These pencil cases I got and we all got one when we went on our cruise. So it has this cute little sparkly mermaid on it. So of course it had to come with me. And this is like my little tool kit. So we are taking a glue stick. We're going to take a little spray water bottle, which I've emptied for now because otherwise they'll probably think I'm trying to sneak some gin on board or something. I'm only taking one ink to use with these two stamps sets that I've got. This is one from a Planners Anonymous kit. 
And this is, oh, I have no idea where this one came from. This actually could have been an Aldi one, I think. But I will be going snorkeling, um, probably drinking cocktails, who knows what. So I thought I'll just take the black ink. And this one is a chalk ink. So it works really well on Tomoe River paper without bleeding through. And then I can just use the watercolours maybe to add some colour to these. So we'll see how we go there. Right, what else have we got in here? I am taking one Distress Ink, uh, Mermaid Lagoon, surprise, surprise. That is to use with that Wave stencil. And somewhere in here, I'm taking a little fresh dauber to actually do the stenciling. I'm taking two pairs of scissors. These are a really cute little pair of fussy cutting scissors. And I've gone for the smallest pair of normal scissors I can find. I didn't want to take a giant pair and then take them off me, especially my good scissors. So I thought I'll take these. I don't think on a cruise it's a problem. Scissors are not mentioned on their prohibited list, only knives. But in case they decide to get fussy, I didn't want to take a big pair or lose a good pair. These are just cheapies. So if for some reason I they, I, they get taken off me, I will survive. And these are so tiny, I don't think that's going to be a problem. If it is, well, we'll worry about it later. But scissors are not mentioned on the list, so I think I should be okay. I have a little stamp block. Um, it should fit most of those stamps okay. I went for the best size I had. I've put some paper towel into a little snap block bag. This is to clean my brushes on. And that can just get recycled and turned inside out and everything until we are home. I've also added this glue pen. So for fine work, thin things, this little glue pen is fabulous. And I am taking my little tiny stapler and a ruler. Little brass one. It's the smallest ruler I've got. So I thought that was absolutely perfect. So that's Everything that fits in that one, push that aside for a minute. And then lucky last, one more pouch. Got this one at Silly Solly's the other day. Of course, I could not resist that one. And this is for pens. So this is quite empty. So in case I have other things that I do decide I want to take, I've just grabbed a selection of things. I'm only taking one fountain pen. This has a beautiful dark blue ink in it, so I thought that was appropriate. I am taking a couple of Tombows. Again, blue and sand colour. This is a brush pen in a pretty tealy sort of colour. It's a finer brush pen, so we're throwing that one in. I love these. Um, now, who makes these? These are great brush pens. They're Pentels, but they're quite, they've got quite a small brush. So loved that colour. I've taken tripless fine liners in four shades that seem appropriate. I'm taking a pencil just in case. This is my cannot get through my journaling planning life without these Sharpie pens. So one of those has to come with me. This is a Bic twin-ended pen, brush pen and fine liner. And also I've got this Sailor, which is brush and fine, and I quite like that colour too. So I'm limiting my pens to those. I'm sure that's probably more than enough, and I probably won't use half of them. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got a pencil case, so I might as well put things in it. So that is it. My bag is now empty. That is everything that I can fit in there. And it is now pretty chock-a-block full, but that's fine. I can then take this bag anywhere on board and just sit and journal and play. Who knows? Pro preferably with a little cocktail, you know, in the little bit of spare space that I have got here. <laughs> um, any questions, please pop them down in the box below. And if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, it's completely free to do so. I would love it if you hung around for more paper crafting fun. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.